Hello everybody. It's cold today. I don't know if it's cold where you are. Depends where you're watching from, I suppose. Um, it's definitely cold here. I'm going to light a fire in a second. I'm going to let you watch me because <laughs> I'm nice like that. Uh, I just thought I would say hello and Merry Christmas and season's greetings and all that. Um, it's a nice time of year, don't you? I think it's a nice time of the year. Whether you're big on Christmas or not, it's still a lovely time of the year to get together with friends and family. And if you're like me, put up a nice big Christmas tree. What do you think of all my lovely baubles? I still, I've still got plenty of blue ones to put on actually. They're predominantly orange and gold and stuff at the moment, but there we go. Don't forget um, to check out the links down below to Patreon, my Amazon wishlist. Christmas is coming after all. Um, you can also just tip on the videos as well if you want to just say a little thanks for all the content that would be really really nice and also don't forget that over the christmas period you can um join me live all the time listening to some fabulous christmas tunes um whilst looking at my beautiful christmas tree and my sparkly sparkly fire in a second when i get it lit um and throughout those lives i will be checking in from time to time so i'll give you a little wave might even give you a mention if you're really really lucky uh, so, um, yes, though, I think I'm going to get my Christmas, Christmas fire. No, it's just a fire lit now because it is getting cold in here. It doesn't help that I've got that door open as well. So the draft is coming right through here. But of course the challenge is, is whether or not I can get the fire lit because sometimes it lights straight away. Other times it doesn't at all. So, um, yeah. Oh, I better bring my mic with me. Otherwise that's not going to work, is it? You're really going to put me under pressure now because it's not going to light. Guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed. Let's get down here. So I haven't got much in here at the moment. It's quite an old fire. Um, oh, that's cold. Um, so I've only got a little bit of coal and a bit of kindling. I've got my lovely fire lighters. So if you're a, a practicing arsonist like me, it's quite fun with the fire lighters. Um, but I tell you what, it's real, it's really, really good with this wood that I've got. There's another fire lighter. Don't try this at home, putting your hands in the fire. But the great thing about the wood that I've got here, it's old beehives. And so there's wax on it, bee wax on there. Um, so it's like candles. So it goes up really well, my kindling, as you can see. So let's just pop that in there like that. Just move them around, around a bit. There we go. Look, I'll show you that piece of wood. Look, you can even see all the honeycomb shapes on it, but that's beeswax. So this is beehive lesson now. So these pieces of beeswax are actually where the bees would have laid their eggs and you would have actually had the, um, I'm going to call them baby bees. <laughs> They're like the larvae, obviously, but the baby bees would have been here. So you can't re reuse these pieces of the hive um, because if there's any parasites in there, it will kill off the, the um, off any new larvae and everything. So you burn these. And like I said, it's wax, it's candles. So it goes up really, really well. And it makes a really nice crackly noise as it's lighting. It's toasty warm already. And see, when you have a fire, ideally you have really nice piece, uh, attractive pieces of wood cut from a tree and they're nice and round and nice shape so that even when your fire isn't on, they look really nice. I don't. I have old pieces of wood and bits of decking and things like that and any bit of old rubbish I can find. But it doesn't matter because I put my fire guard in front of it so it makes no difference whatsoever what I chuck on the fire. Hypnotising flames, I think. I do to, a, I do to a degree understand a little bit why people like playing with fire because it's fascinating and the trick is to put the piece of wood on without actually then um putting the fire out by stopping any oxygen and getting to it i tend to put them on an angle i won't put that piece on yet i'll let that piece go so there we go so my fire is lit it was successful first time round um i shall let that burn for a little while and then i will be back shortly no doubt to put a bit more wood and a bit more coal on. And to prevent it from spitting everywhere, I shall put this back in front for the time being. There we go. 
enjoy watching the fire. <laughs>